Hey everyone, 2020 is upon us, and now that we've spent some time reminiscing about tech from the past 10 years, which if you haven't seen, here's a link for you right up there, it's time to take a look at what we expect from the next 10 years, our tech expectations, if you will. We've got a big list on our site, but here are some of my favorites. We're gonna start out by talking about how IoT devices are getting better. And I'm sorry, IoT, not a fun acronym. But it does stand for the Internet of Things, and it's kind of a principle or a vision. And it starts with stuff connected to the Internet that didn't used to be connected to the Internet. It's birthed a bunch of smart devices and appliances like smart doorbells, smart vacuums, smart refrigerators, for example. Now it's time for the next step. Since everything is Internet connectable, let's network them. Here's an example. Right now, your smart smoke detector can tell you it sniffs smoke or detects fire. And that's kind of it. Imagine sitting across the nation and you get that push notification on your phone. Best you can do is call the fire department and hope they get there in time. Now instead, let's imagine that smart detector could set off a chain of events that actually did something valuable for you. So the detector thinks there's a fire. Then it would shut down the gas stove and gas furnace, shut down power to the room, maybe even shut the doors, and then notify the fire department, all automatically. That's what IoT in the 2020s is gonna start looking more and more like. Not just stuff connected to the internet for the sake of accessing it with your phone, but a network of devices that talk to each other and can complete tasks. Now that's actually starting to happen now. So where's step three for IoT taking us? Well, it's taking us to AI, which is going to start taking the massive amounts of data all these devices generate and doing something useful with it. Right now, we have something like that. Tons of smartphones on the roads are feeding the Maps app Waze with data about slowdowns and speed traps. Waze takes all that data and routes us around problem areas and helps us avoid getting a speeding ticket. Thank you, Waze. Now, let's take all that data and process it into information that city planners and state and federal government can use. What we should get is smarter streets and highways, fewer collisions, and just generally safer streets. We can do it, but AI is going to have to grow a little bit more before something like this becomes a reality. AI and machine learning aren't just for crunching data, they're for interacting with us. Right now, and for the foreseeable future, our interactions with AI are with a voice, not a face. Of course, I'm talking about the Google Assistant and Amazon's, well, you know who. I don't want to set off your smart speaker. But Amazon's voice assistant currently lives primarily in smart speakers. Maybe your car. But just before Thanksgiving, Amazon announced it had figured out how to reduce the hardware requirements to make a voice assistant device so that it can fit in much smaller devices and more cheaply. Instead of needing 100 megs of RAM and an ARM Cortex A-Class processor, Amazon's you-know-who can now run off of just one megabyte of RAM and a much cheaper processor. What that means is that we should now expect to see voice assistants in just about everything. A lamp, a light switch, a power port and they will be smarter listeners as well, hearing stuff like dripping water, footsteps, and other auditory cues that can help them decipher what's going on around them and enable them to act. Of course, this means true always listening technology, so the real question isn't around what voice assistants will be able to do, it's about whether you'll let them do it. And that's our wrap up of the big changes expected in tech in the coming 10 years. Of course, we also expect to see growth in autonomous cars, lots of 8K TVs and 8K content to go with it, and much more. Who knows what your smartphone will look like in nine to 10 years. It'll definitely be fun to find out. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when we're coming out with a new one. And as always, find the best tech news and reviews at digitaltrends.com.